so guys uh, while writing answer to that question what should be your ideal introduction so i continuously tell uh, continuously tell uh, in my app classes guys that introduction me you have to establish the question that whatever this question is asked why they ask this question okay uh, what 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 could be the reason behind asking this question so that you have to establish uh, in your introduction so why i have framed this question for you so because as i told you uh, some time back that 100 years back when moral philosopher or these thinkers gave their ideas uh, uh, most of those people these entities wasn't there this artificial meat okay or stem cell research kind of processes ai wasn't advanced etc these are the creation of modern sciences and so as we created them in modern sciences we are facing okay this new moral gray areas that we need to navigate and we don't have the solutions okay for them we have some fixed ethical theories ethical frameworks okay so how we have to modify those ethical frameworks to suit okay to this modern uh, creations modern entities that uh, modern science has created okay that uh, you have to explain so this question is because modern science created modern entities whose more moral legal status is a gray area that we need to navigate okay and for that okay we need to fix some parameters and that's how you should be introducing your question so i will i will introduce like this in context like bioethics animal rights ai and personhood debates we deal with moral gray areas okay which makes ethical decision making complicated process because they fall in moral gray area okay should we do it should we not do it okay if we not do it still there is a cost okay if we do it okay still there is a, a, a cost so like for example uh, if you don't do research on animal okay human life will not become better we won't be able to get rid of diseases and when we do research on animals use animals in our research purpose okay it is also helping uh, to cure diseases uh, that are happening to the animals okay so there are a lot of moral gray areas that we need to navigate so for example in ai ai is just a robot it can experience emotions we can have a develop sensors and we can create a cognitive structure where robot can also feel pain pleasure etc if we punch them but robot is not living entity we can punch it we can kick it and if we uh, uh, don't give rights to robots or any other such entity okay then see uh, that robot might not uh, it might not be living entity but when we attack robot okay we are enjoying doing violence to an entity despite that entity uh, is feeling pain then we are creating okay uh, uh, in our society okay we are allowing that pain can be inflicted okay and we can enjoy inflicting pain on uh, uh, some uh, uh, robotic entity today people are hurting robots tomorrow they will start hurting the human beings okay so this is what is the moral gray area that we need to navigate safely so if we allow like for example euthanasia we allow doctors to kill the patients there is a it run the risks because doctor's duty is to save life and if you allow them to kill the patients and what if after one month two month modern science develop medicine to cure that disease but we already killed the patient moral gray area and doctor's fundamental duty should be to save life but we are al allow doctors to kill okay and get rid uh, of the patients with those diseases cure will never invent and rather doctor okay will become morally permissible or permissive to kill the patients okay this disease we don't think can be cured uh, okay uh, allow him euthanasia uh, kill him okay we are then fundamentally okay reducing the uh, respect for life value of life and especially in the doctors uh, uh, from doctors point of view because doctors duty is to save the patient till the last moment he should never kill so whether allow euthanasia or not lot of moral gray area gets created okay and that okay these gray areas we need to navigate and if you want to navigate them safely we need to fix some parameters of moral ethical judgment okay so whether an entity should be granted moral or legal status and the rights and protections that accompany it is the issue that can only be resolved by asking some critical questions and that's why whether entity should be granted moral or legal status and the rights and the protections that accompany it is an issue that can only be resolved only if we ask 
okay some uh, uh, moral questions some critical questions and only by asking some critical questions we will be able to okay navigate those gray areas so this is how i will frame the introduction that i will agree yes this question is relevant because there are a lot of moral gray areas and we need to make list of some critical questions some parameters to analyze uh, that entity uh, from those parameters then only we'll be able to fix this or solve uh, this issue so then what are the different parameters guys that we need to consider so here i have come up with some 15 parameters that we need to uh, analyze debate discuss upon so first is guys consciousness and sentiness whether that entity okay how is capable of experiencing emotions sentiments or sentimentalism what we call so consciousness sentiments sentimentalism is very important okay can it experience pain and pleasure can it respond to stimulus and uh, 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 to stimulus so that is conscience that we have to think about so by that angle all fetuses experience conscience okay they re respond to stimulus then capacity to suffer or feel pain pleasure whether that entity can experience pain pleasure which is a part of conscience also and there are a lot of questions we need to ask under these debates so as i go ahead in the lecture i will uh, debate some questions under this some critical moral question that we need to ask three four three four question under each parameter i will discuss as we go ahead okay then capacity to secure or feel pleasure then autonomy and rationality whether that entity is autonomous rational okay can they think for themselves or they can't whether they are able to experience rational thoughts or not on basis of that we can ask some uh, questions to that entity uh, uh, grant moral legal status to that entity then moral agency and responsibility are they moral agents okay can we hold them accountable uh, for actions they do so for example any kid commits any crime okay below uh, uh, 12 years of age we don't even consider that kid as a criminal because below 12 years we have uh, agreed okay that kid as a biological entity is not able to be uh, to understand moral ethical complication of their action they can't be considered moral agent okay we can't fix their moral responsibility moral accountability so they can't be treated as a criminals so moral agency and responsibility then personhood and identity okay so personhood and identity that uh, uh, whether that what is our definition of personhood male or female or there are multiple categories okay and should we recognize those different identities sexual identities etc same way for animals okay uh, 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 whether animals should be given personhood status to i will explain this point as we go ahead in lecture in detail but for example in our mythology okay or in hindu philosophy lot of animals okay are worshipped as a gods okay they are treated uh, as a uh, uh, with the personhood okay and so uh, this way we are even granting animals personhood status then after granting animals personhood status should we think okay uh, about their moral legal status etc like cow we worship as a mother and so for cow should we have different moral legal rights okay compared to other animals so that's what basically and even there are different sexual orientations people with different sexual orientations or uh, 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 different genetic combinations like transgenders etc then we need to consider this okay personhood uh, debate then social emotional relationship whether that entity is capable of forming social emotional bonds okay developing social emotional relationship people in uh, uh, vegetative state can't uh, form social bonds they can't interact they can rationally think they are not autonomous okay so ability to form social emotional relationship i am just introducing the chart as we go ahead in lecture i am will discuss these all points very critically the sub question under it so then you will get a proper idea about this grounds of uh, moral status and this one lecture guys is of tremendous use for you okay in entire ethics paper to analyze all such a complex debates okay so any question comes by using these 15 parameters you will be able to frame a very very good answer okay trust me on that and those who are listening to this class on youtube okay do check out my uh, uh, link in the description given below app link there is a full comprehensive course of ethics is available look at a very a low cost and uh, that will be of great help uh, it's very comprehensive thorough course okay and uh, uh, there uh, you should enroll and take advantage of all these uh, 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 classes and as well as many such a model practice questions
then potential for development that is also very important parameter whether that entity is capable of development potential now fetuses when we about every fetus has a capacity if we grown proper grows properly in mother's womb to develop into a living organism so should we kill the fetus okay now if there is a rape child uh, and uh, any woman is pregnant out of rape and he has crossed 24th week of pregnancy should we okay kill that uh, rape child or not okay so uh, 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 about that child uh, that fetus or not okay so potential for mm. development because if we don't abort okay uh, that kid uh, or fetus okay can fully grown and born as a baby infant which can develop into fully developed human being okay so potential for development then species membership should we grant status based on species membership are they humans or not okay then in humans also okay, uh, or humans or animals in animals also different species okay so should we grant more more moral legal status to some uh, animal of some species or not that for endangered species more moral status legal status compared to all other species yes same way guys just just look around okay uh, in dogs there are a lot of desi dogs what we say in india okay local breeds no one cares for them but people want those hybrid breeds like uh, siberian husky and all other imported breeds and they will be treated like a king or a queen okay but street dogs look very badly upon so we are differentiating between the species okay same animal species dogs okay based on their breeds and treating street dogs in a very moral way okay we beat them uh, we don't let them enter our compounds but treat different dogs uh, uh, in a different manner so should we have this moral status based on species membership then vulnerability and dependence how much that entity is vulnerable or dependent okay on uh, us for example kids they are fully depend on their parents okay then parents have more moral responsibility okay towards them same way fetus etc they are vulnerable and they are dependent fetus can't come to a court and say my rights are getting violated person in vegetative state can't come to a court and say my rights are being violated kids can't say come to a court and say my parents beat me at home teachers beat me in a school my rights are getting violated so there okay these vulnerable sections dependent sections okay we need to uh, make some criteria okay for that and protect their moral legal status then environmental ecosystem consideration we have to consider that entity that we are creating how it impacts uh, the environment okay we need to consider this ecosystem considerations now for example uh, in uh, uh, africa in some countries they are killing the elephants etc because there is a drought and food shortage okay so even elephants uh, and mass numbers are they are trying or planning to kill so this environmental ecosystem consideration yeah even in india uh, under wildlife protection act some animals are declared vermin if they increase in number and threaten the crops etc and they are allowed to be killed so considering the economic consideration okay uh, we allow some killings or not so okay this uh, criteria also we need to fix while giving or granting moral legal status then potential for harm whether that entity okay is capable of causing harm to us okay so someone's fundamental right we can violate if that person is threat to society serial killer cold blooded criminals etc we can hang them terrorist we hang them so their ability to harm others so tomorrow ai or any such a biological entity that we created okay can harm the uh, uh, other uh, people other species environment etc okay then should we kill them or not uh, take away their moral legal rights or not so potential to harm okay then while granting moral status we also need to consider equality and fairness okay that whether we are treating that entity biological entity with equality with fairness whether are we treating fetuses okay uh, or uh, after pregnancy are we considering women's right and that fetus right equally or not okay so everywhere we need to also consider this ground this parameter ask some critical questions okay to fix this moral legal status then legal and political ramification if we grant moral legal status what will be legal pol political ramifications so now in olympics we have males and females and if there are like vulnerable sections as i said uh, some uh, 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 some like different label people okay for them we have separate olympics but now like few days back i saw in one beauty competition okay when transgenders were uh, considered uh, uh, in beauty co uh, competition uh, along with the females so are we then creating some problem here 
बिकॉज देन इफ वी सी कि मेल फीमेल्स दिज आर बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन ट्रांसजेंडर इज ऑल्सो वन बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन बट इफ यू रिमूव दोज बाउंड्रीज ओके देन देर वोट बी अ मिस वर्ल्ड एंड मिस्टर वर्ल्ड देन वी शुड हैव मेल फीमेल बोथ इन द सेम कॉम्पिटिशन ओके सो इफ देर आर क्राइटेगरीज देन वी नीड टू बायोलॉजिकली क्लासीफाई देम ओके सो इन ओलंपिक्स इफ वी अलाउ पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ ट्रांसजेंडर शुड दे बी अलाउड इन मेल कैटेगरी फीमेल कैटेगरी और दे देम सेल आइडेंटिफाई देम सेल विथ मेल एंड फीमेल एंड वी शुड अलाउ देम और वी शुड हैव सेपरेट कॉम्पिटिशन ओके एंड इफ वी अलाउविंग देम वट विल बी लीगल पोलिटिकल रेमिफिकेशन सो सपोज वी अलाउ ट्रांसजेंडर्स इन आर्मी ओके देन विच लाइक इन और इन बॉर्डर्स एरियाज में then how we can create a facilities for male soldiers female soldiers or all other uh, uh, people with different uh, sexual orientation identities so what will be legal political ramification that also we need to consider ask some critical questions before granting moral legal status and then moral ethical frameworks okay that there are already lot of existing moral ethical frameworks that we uh, will be studying in virtue ethics in our app classes uh, in under normative ethics that is virtue ethics framework consequentialist ethics framework deontology ethics framework right ethics frameworks what parameters they have given as per those parameter how they apply to the debate we are undergoing so uh, moral uh, theories ethical frameworks and then consent and communication whether that entity is capable of giving consent okay communicate uh, with us give permi uh, consent people in vegetative state can't give consent for euthanasia then should we have the uh, 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 that control over them ya yeah, baby in a fetus uh, in a uh, womb can't give consent can't communicate okay then can we uh, uh, do the abortion when their informed consent is not taken and if they are not capable of giving consent what should be done okay and so consent and communication same way we use animals in medical research we don't take their consent so if you are not taking their consent okay will it be consider violation of their rights or not okay this also parameter need to be considered okay and these are the 15 parameters that i come came up with okay which you have to apply while deciding moral legal status of different entities so i have now given only overview so after your introduction make this chart and then for every entity that i have mentioned here you should be able to mention at least 7 8 in your answer and and, and under every entity okay uh, sorry every parameter you should ask two three critical questions write some two three critical question that these need to be asked and by using these questions answers finding answers to this question we can fix the moral legal status okay so that uh, uh, we will discuss uh, uh, the critical question under those 15 parameters okay so those who are listening to this lecture on youtube okay uh, 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 i have given link in the description okay register there on the app and you can uh, watch this full video and take advantage uh, of this uh, video so uh, thanks for listening